I'm playing with Winnie from the Babbage Show Times. It's about 10 to 7 in the morning and we're off to pick some hops for Green Hop Beer Fortnite. Garden to Stuart, why are we here? We're here to pick a uh, hops, fresh green hops that we're going to use in the brewery this morning because we're brewing in the Pilot Brewery a special green ale hop called Post Dodger. But the first stage is actually picking the hops that we're going to use to make the beer bitter, to give it flavour, and to give it aroma. And you see behind you here, vast array of hops. So what we're going to do now is pick a couple of binds. When we get back to the brewery, we're going to pick these little green hop flowers off and we're going to use them in the brew. We're going to do that this morning. So we're using hops in the brewery, in the brew that we're picking today. It's a unique opportunity. That's what we're going to do. And that's what you're going to do. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, give it a good whack now, bud. Oh. Pick it up the air, whack it. Go on, man. That's there we it. Go. Well done. It's a beauty. Now let's go down and let's take the next one. Okay, that one's another one. We'll take two good ones. Leave that one there. That's another nice one. Let's have that one. That one looks a bit thicker. Give it a good whack. Come on. You're doing it well done. Look at that. Another little bit. Come on. Make it have it. That's it. Well done. Look at that. These are two corkers. These will do us fantastic in the room. Look at that. Little beauties. doing this Claire is that there's all the breweries in Kent, big brewery like us, all the micro breweries, this week they're all brewing a green hot ale. We're all using hops and fresh hops. And every brewer is going to produce a different type of green hop ale that's going to be showcased at a special festival later on in a few weeks time. So everybody, we're doing this and other brewers will be doing exactly the same. But with different hops so there'll be a different flavour, different bitterness to the beer. So you're going to showcase the very best that Kentish hops can give to beer because this is the home of hops in Kent and that's what we're doing. We're really showcasing the beauty and the majesty and the greatness of the English hop in great beers like ours. them in with the malt in the mashing process so that's called mash hopping I'm going to do that and then I'm going to add them to the copper at the start of the boil it's the second addition then five minutes before the end of the boil I'm going to add more hops that'll give us a nice aroma as well as a bitterness uh, flavour and then I'm going to add them to the boil at the very end of the boil again not to give us more bitterness but to give us lovely hoppy flavour so we're adding it four stages in the process and that is a really good way to do it. It maximises the beauty that these hops have got to offer in terms of flavour, in terms of aroma, and in terms of bitterness. That's what we're going to do. Yeah.
So it's 67.2, we'll call it 60, 60, 69 miles, okay, 69, so the gravity is 1069, that's a good start, a good start in gravity, 1069, take the next one, right now. These are the, the green hops we're going to add now, the challenger hops we're going to add, the players we're going to add to the clock hops, we're going to add a lovely, lovely bit of this fresh, Oh, 
मेरा देश Bitterness and it's going to give us flavour and it's going to give us aroma. You've tipped the malt and then you've helped mash in the glue. It's, it's been in the mash vessel for an hour, converting all the starch and then it's been to sugars. Then we we'll run it up to the copper where you added more hops, didn't you? Aye. And then when the grain was drained off and we'd finished with taking all the goodness out of it, you've dug it out and got rid of the spent grain as well. And the big brewery that would go away to cattle food. So and now, it's now boiled and we've cast the hops into the whirlpool and that whirling that you saw there will gradually stop and the hop debris will settle to the bottom and we'll draw the sweet boiling wort above the outlet through that little chiller and into fermentation vessel. We'll run that later on this afternoon. And that will add the yeast then and the yeast, the unicellular organism, will use the sugars that we've created here as a source of food and convert it to alcohol and then you'll have your beer or we'll have the green post dodger. That's what we've done. Have you learnt about it? I have learnt a lot. That's hard work. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. 